Midjourney is the ultimate text to image AI generator. And all you have to do is give it a simple prompt and it will up with some really amazing and hyper realistic photos. And in this video, I want to show you exactly how to set up Midjourney and create your own images with a text prompt and some more advanced text prompts that will take your image to the next level. But I want to simplify this because if you've never used Midjourney before, it's going to be a little bit complicated because it's actually not a website. It takes place on Discord. So let me show you exactly how it works step by step. The first thing you need to do is you need to go to discord.com and actually sign in for a Discord account. Now this is a chat website and it's an app as well. So you could download it on your computer or open it in your web browser. But Discord basically is the way Midjourney is going to create these images for you. You can't just go to the Midjourney website to make this. Now, this is what Discord looks like. We don't even have to really figure out how Discord works. I just want to show you how Midjourney works here. But you just go over here to explore public servers and look for Midjourney. If you look for the Midjourney server, you could actually join it. Anyone could join this server. So you could click over here and then press join. Usually you'll see something that says join Midjourney. I've already joined it, so I won't see this prompt. But right on top, make sure you join the Midjourney server. I would also put a link in the description to Midjourney server if you want to just directly click that. It will bring you to the Midjourney server here. You should land on the home page. And then step three is you need to create a Midjourney account now because if I try to create an image, it used to be free, but now you can't create any images in Midjourney. You need a subscription plan. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to midjourney.com and we need to sign in to Midjourney and purchase our plan from here. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. It already knows I'm logged into the Discord site, so it's going to let me authorize the connection between Midjourney and Discord. And then it's going to let me purchase a plan. I'll click here and they do have monthly and yearly plans. So I'm just going to use the basic plan here and subscribe. And they used to have a free one. So you may see some old tutorials that show you how to do this for free. It doesn't exist anymore. You can't do this for free. So now inside of Discord, now that I'm subscribed, I could go to these channels called newbie channels. Any of them that says newbie, now inside of these newbie channels, you could do it here. And all you have to do is type in slash imagine. And then you would type in your prompt from here. But anybody that creates anything, other people could see it from here. Another option is you could just do this directly privately inside of the chatbot, the Midjourney chatbot. And you could actually access it if you look at any of these that have that creation. It says Midjourney bot and it's going to bring you, if you just talk to it, it will bring you to the direct chat with that chatbot, you could always click this direct message icon if you haven't used Discord before to jump into the Discord with the chatbot. I don't have any friends on this account, so I only see direct messages with the chatbot. But you will have to just find Midjourney chatbot or Midjourney bot and then talk to it, okay? So all I have to do now is type in imagine and then I will type in my prompt if I select it. So in this case, I'm going to ask it to create an image construction of the pyramids and I'll show you a couple more advanced settings in a second. Right now, I'm just going to press enter to get this creation here. And then I'm going to have to wait a little bit. It depends on which kind of an account you get. So the more expensive account levels actually do this a little bit faster. They move faster through the processing. I have the cheapest version here to show you in this demo. And here's my final image. I could click on it and see all the different images that it creates. Every time, it will create four different images for you to preview. And right over here, you have multiple different options. So right here, it says V1, V2, V3, and V4. That is showing you the version of them. Okay, so this is V1, 2, 3, and 4. So if you wanted four different options from one of those, like if I chose V1, it will give me four different versions of V1. U1 will up res and then let me download that image. So I press U1 and it's going to give me a new chat. This is the up res version of it. And I could actually download this one. The one that where I said V4 is creating four different new images based on that selection, which was the first one. So it's just giving me four that look like that. And as you can see, I've done a little bit more here to get more versions of them. So again, the top is to download an up res version. Again, it's one, two, three, and four. And then the V version is just letting you get four new versions of each one of these. Again, one, two, three, or four. And then you could still make variation once you up res one too. So you could press make variation and it's going to do the same thing I just showed you here. 
If you like it, you could open it here in a website. So it's gonna open a website. It takes you to the Midjourney website here. So I could go ahead and press the save icon here and save it right to my computer. And it saves it as a high res PNG as long as you up res it with that U option. So it up resed U1, which was the first version. And now I have it downloaded over here. So let me show you how to take these prompts to the next level. So the mid journey actually has a resource to this page where it shows you for some of the mid journey, different versions, how to exactly prompt it. So the first is you want to give it a subject. So this will go in the very beginning. Then you want to give it the details and the surrounding. Then you want to give it the stylization, the media type you want. So this is an example. And then you could give it some parameters to take it to the next level. So these are an option for parameters. So, I'm going to show you this exact example of what it comes up with. So I'm going to take this and this is what I got from that prompt. And as you can see, the more detailed you are, this one, I didn't ask it to be hyper realistic. So it's more of a painting, but you could do all kinds of different variations from painting to making it look like an actual photo. Here's another version where my prompt was hyper realistic photo of three kids playing with a train set. And then some of my parameters were 4k hyper realistic version 5.1. And then these are the images that I got here. And then I mastered one of them to get an image that looks like this. That was my favorite. Then I could again up res this and then download it on mid journey. And I'll show you one more thing here, type in slash and settings, and it will pull up the settings prompt here and then press enter. And then this is going to give you some settings. So by default, it's always going to land on the latest version of mid journey. In this case is 5.1, but you can, actually use the different versions of it, even the previous versions of it and kind of compare. But I usually recommend you use the latest one. The raw mode is very powerful, again, to advance for this training, but you could select this alongside the latest version of mid journey. You could change the style level here. And one thing that is a little bit confusing is even though I'm talking inside of the chat bot and not inside of those channels that I show you, those newbie channels where you see everyone else's, these are still public inside of the mid journey website. So to make them completely private, where only mid journey staff kind of sees it again, so you have to still follow their policies. But if you press this option to go private, it's not going to let you because not all their paid plans have a private option. So you have to upgrade your plan. The plan I signed up with in this tutorial does not have the private option It's public. I'm still doing it inside of this mid journey bot. So it's a little bit better. I think than doing it inside of those channels. But again, if you want to totally private from public viewing, just make sure you upgrade your plan to the one that has private option. So this is just a basic guide, but you could give us some prompts that really take the stylized version of these images to the next level. So we are putting together an entire library of content, not just on mid journey, but everything in the world of AI as they get released with the latest updates, latest tutorials, all in one place in a Netflix style platform. Make sure you sign up in the link below. I will let you know as soon as it's released and I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching.